everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about how we just made $420,000 on one land deal and how you can too. There's a really cool story about a life that got changed in this story and it's not ours. I want to tell you about that. This is going to be a really really special episode. With that being said, if you get value from these podcasts, do us a favor, take a quick second, leave us a review and share these with your friends and family. Seriously, stop what you're doing and share it with your friends and family and leave us a quick review, please. It allows us to bring more content to really good looking listeners like yourself. Uh, it feeds the algorithm. So please go ahead and do that. All right, jumping in here. We have a piece of land, so we closed on it. I can release all the details at this point. This was a land deal that got brought to us a little over a year ago. There was somebody in the real estate space whom I met years ago that, how do I put this? She's somebody that you just root for. You know, she wasn't born into a, you know, super wealthy family. You know, she didn't come from a real estate background. She was very young. She didn't really have anybody to teach her. I mean, she was like the underdog in this. And I got to watch this person over the years. She would you know, see what we're doing on social media and reach out and ask questions. And I invited her to, you know, a lot of our flips when we we're flipping houses and building homes. And, you know, whenever she'd have a question, I'm always down to take a phone call and try to help those that, uh, well, that deserve to be helped. There's those that deserve to be helped and there's those that don't deserve to be helped. And I like to see people win at life, especially those that are putting in the work. And, you know, she, she worked a full-time job at the airport. She, um, you know, w wasn't making multiple six figures a year and could buy real estate. I mean, she was really trying to figure things out. Uh, the odds were stacked against her, but I loved her enthusiasm and how she never gave up. This person ended up uh, doing some wholesale deals, which is where you immediately buy and sell a, a property for like a small profit, usually like five to thirty thousand dollars, somewhere around there. She did finally end up flipping a house. Um, and and making some money from that and she uh she she saw an opportunity to you know go after some bigger deals and she found this piece of land that she goes man this is a this is in a great area i wonder if the city would support a rezone on it and so she spent every uh, dime she had in civil engineering trying to get the civil engineering done meeting with the city the city rejected her on this deal, uh, you know, a couple times, but she ended up actually getting it pulled through at some point through the rezone process and getting it rezoned to accommodate 45 townhomes. Uh, now, you know, she didn't know it at the time, but she still had a long way to go. She needed the entire civil plans designed that hadn't been done up to this point. And so not having any money left or knowing how to take it and pull this property through the rest of the entitlement process. She reached out to us. She, um, you know, she was looking for somebody that she knew had the expertise to do the deal and somebody that she could trust. And we were blessed that she chose us uh, over everybody that, uh, that she knew. And so we took it from there. Um, we pumped in another $80,000 in civil engineering fees uh, in this property. We, you know, had those existing relationships. You know, my partner does an excellent job of going down and, and working with the city to figure out what it is that they want and, you know, pushing the civil engineers to get everything through. So after it was, um, it was rezoned, uh, we ran into one little problem, which was the city changed the guidelines for the number of parking spaces for the, um, for the, um, what do you call it? The driveways. Can't think of the word driveways. In other words, in the past, the city used to allow you to take your garage and account that for two parking spaces. But with the new laws, the city said, no, you have to have at least four parking spaces on your actual driveway. Um, well, this shrank the number of townhomes that we could put on it. In fact, it ended up killing a few townhomes, which decreased the price. And we all kind of uh, seized up and were like, oh my gosh, is this, is this deal going to get killed? How many other things are going to pop up during this process? 
So that killed a few townhomes. And then another thing came up that we're going to have to uh, push the roads over to the left six feet, which killed another townhome that we had set up. And at this point, we're like, oh, crap, we're down to 42 townhomes. Is there going to be anything else? And luckily, we were able to get through that process with at least 42 townhomes and start the entitlement process um, for that after we got everything designed. And if you don't know, the entitlement process is where your civil engineer goes back and forth with the city's civil engineer designing this parcel of land to look right. Your civil engineer does a bunch of work, sends it to the city. They bless one part of it. They goes back. The civil engineer keeps designing it, sends it back. So there's a lot of back and forth and it takes a lot of time to do these designs. Well, while this was going on, the seller goes, Hey guys, it's been, you know, it's, it's been a long, long time. It's been like a year and uh, you haven't done anything. Like I'm, I'm, I'm back another deal. I'm not doing this. And we're like, what? No, no, no. What? Don't do that. And so uh, we were able to go and say, Hey, look, we'll give you 25,000 more uh, for this. Just hang in there. Um, you know, coincidentally, I don't think she knew how long this was going to take. And so the expectation that she had set with the seller was that this should, should take a year and, um, you know, it could have, but again, you know, she spent six months trying to do something and she didn't really know what she was doing. So the whole thing got pushed back another six months and the seller was getting a little bit antsy. So now we've got a seller who's about to back out. We bring them back to the table and go, all right, you know, here, here's 25,000 extra dollars, you know, have fun, just hang in there with us. So we keep pushing through, we keep getting through and we then find a in buyer to put this under contract with somebody that wants to buy the entitled dirt uh, for, you know, somewhere around, I think it was like 1.6 million. And we had this under contract for, um, I think it was nine, $900,000. So now we're real excited because they're putting down earnest money. And so we've got a, a BC transaction where, you know, we're going to be buying this dirt and then, you know, the next day turning around and selling it to uh, essentially somebody else for a nice hefty profit in there. And I want to tell you how this this absolutely changed this this girl's life, and it's what I'm most excited about of this deal. We finally get, uh, you know, to uh, the very bitter end, and we're following up with the civil engineer like every single day, wondering when is this guy going to get done? When is that going to get done? If you've not been in land development or done a land development deal, the civil engineer is like the bane of your existence. Everything revolves around the civil engineer. It'd be great to have one on your salary uh, that really is able to move things along because man, it just, it takes forever to do the civil engineering on it. So we're blowing this engineer up every single day. He's probably getting sick of us because we're like, dude, we've got to have the final CDs uh, approved on this thing. And we finally got them from the city. Uh, the next step after that was to send it up to the state. Uh, once the state gives your uh, gives it the okay, then at that point you're good to go. So you've got your civil engineer that approves it. You've got the city's uh, civil engineer that stamps and approve it. And then you have the state that stamps it and approves it. And after that, you are ready to rock and roll at that point. So we ended up closing on this property and, you know, we made, we made really good money on it, but more exciting than the money we made was the life that we were able to change. I told this girl that once this deal closes, part of our agreement was number one, you have to quit your job and I want to be there to hear you turn in your two weeks from your boss. And number two, you have to pick some kind of coaching mentor program or mastermind program. And I will pay for half of it with my proceeding with my proceeds. And when I told her this, like, she just, she like started crying and I'm like, I'm tearing up at this point. I'm crying. I'm like, Oh my God, like, dude, I can't believe it. This is crazy. That's what it's all about. Making money is great. But when you're able to change a life like that, there's no feeling in the world that you're going to get from money that can give you that. It's the best feeling in the world. I know that she's going to be the one to change her family lineage, to change her future generations. She's going to be the one to do it. She's got so much going for her. She's still really, really young. And I think the most important thing on this deal was not the money that, that freed her up to quit her job and go full-time in real estate, but she believes it's possible now. Just feeling and being a part of this deal that we work together on, she knows that she can do other deals like that. And that 
that is the most important thing that happened to her. She will make so much more money because of what she is able to learn and just knowing that it is possible. When you think something is possible, nothing is impossible. So this was a really, really fun one. I really enjoyed this. This was just like the best feeling in the world. I was just walking on clouds uh, after the closing uh, with her. Um, yeah, it was it was really, really cool. So not all about money. Uh, it's about making an impact out there. Hope everybody's out there making an impact. If you like this story, share it with your friends and family and leave us a review. We'll chat soon. See ya.